that feeling of, oh, I gotta fix this, I gotta fix this, I gotta fix this, when it ain't broke at all, it stems from just wanting the goal to happen faster. <laughs> Stop fixing things that aren't broke. Hi there, Jody Bentley here, actor, producer, and career coach. And today, I wanna talk about stop fixing things that aren't broke. Ah! And we do this a lot, and I see this happen with my clients a lot. And I have one client in particular who's in my mastermind group, and he's a voiceover artist. And, and he's been working it, right? He's been um, really working the path of getting this, this animation agent that he really wants. And, and I gotta say the, that feeling of, oh, I gotta fix this. I gotta fix this. I gotta fix this one. It ain't broke at all really comes from impatience. It stems from just wanting the goal to happen faster. And I get it. We all want it to happen faster. Um, but we get to not look for things and fix problems that actually don't exist just to keep us distracted from the path, the plan, the course, right? So uh, we had done an agent push for him to get, a, as I said, an animation um, agent. And um, he didn't get as many bites on that as he had hoped. So we're about getting started to do another round. And he started saying to me uh, that he thinks he gets to fix the reel, that he gets to redo the animation reel. And we played it for everyone in the mastermind group and people were in tears, they were laughing, they were impressed, they were in awe of his talent. His reel is so good. But in his mind, he said, well, I didn't get the results, so let's just fix something. Maybe it's this, let's fix this. I gotta fix this and then that'll solve the problem. So if that ever happens to you, because I know that it does, and, and we get to take a step back, first of all. You get to take a step back and go, is this true? Does this material really need to be fixed? Do my Are my headshots really working or are they not competitive enough? Is this reel really great or is it not competitive enough? So what I really invite you to do is get opinions from the people that you trust. If you feel like something needs to shift, don't just shift it because you might be just doing busy work, distracting yourself from the work that really gets to be done. So number one, get opinions from the people that you trust. So we listened to his reel, as I said, and a few people in the group had never heard it before and they were floored and his work is so good. The reel does not get to be changed whatsoever. He just needs to find his people. And so what we looked at was I think we aimed a little bit high in the first round of agent uh, manage, an agent um, for representation, we aimed a little bit high. So now we're expanding the search a little bit more. So for him, it's not about fixing the tools, but for you, it might be. But first, get opinions from people you trust and not 42 people, like really go to your go-to source of people and get their opinion on, is this competitive enough? Is this good enough? Is this going to stand out and break through from the noise? So that's really important, number one. Number two, I really invite you to keep your eye on the prize and stay the course. You know, sometimes when we don't get the results as fast as we want to do, we get impatient and we doubt. We doubt, we doubt, we doubt, we doubt everything. We doubt our pitch letter, we doubt our materials, we doubt our reels, we doubt our headshots, we doubt everything. We go, oh my God, everything's terrible. I got to start again, right? And, and But I invite you to keep your eye on the prize and stay the course. If you start getting feedback that, well, yeah, I don't think these pictures really represent you or the lighting isn't as great or you know what, your reel, um, I can't really use it right now. It's all whatever. If you start getting specific feedback, then take that into consideration. And you notice I said, don't jump and fix it. Take it into consideration. Collect the data. We need to have data to be able to move forward. It's not just you feeling everything needs to change, right? So again, get opinions from the people you trust and keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the prize and stay the course unless you're getting data that counters that. And the final piece, when we have that, that feeling of we wanna just fix what isn't broken, trust, just trust. If you actually put in the time to understand your brand, 
know what it is, know what you sell, know how to package that, know the stories that you tell, really understand your niche and where you fit in this industry. And you've taken the time to craft your headshots, to craft your reel, your resume, your website, all of your marketing tools. If you've really taken the time to do that, then you get to trust that it works, that the tools are working. At that point, it's just about finding your people. So it's not always about jumping in to fix it, but you got to collect the data to understand what is truth and what is not. So I trust that this helps. because I think a lot of times, again, we tend to look for that busy work. We look for the busy work to make us look busy and occupied and like we are doing something when it's actually not the thing that we need to be doing in that moment. You get to do the big, scarier goal strategy stuff once those tools are in place. Again, unless you're getting the data. So we get to focus from data, from the data. Can I say the data again? Focus from the data. All right, I trust this helps. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.